How's it going after today, guys? Hope everybody's doing great. Uh, this is part two of building the farmhouse bed frame. My camera had died, and I didn't realize it when I was putting the headboard together here. So, therefore, I got hit put together and didn't have no footage. And then I'm going to start working on the footboard here shortly. But this is the... this blah, That is the headboard. And it turned out actually very well. The whole bed turned out awesome. And then my camera lost a bunch of footage of or lost the footage of me actually getting the rest of the bed frame put the assembled in the house and getting it put together i don't know what happened there my camera just kind of at the footage and i couldn't ever find it but sorry about that i'm going to show you all the footage i got and i added a picture at the end of this video there's two pictures of it actually put together in the house that i took but it was actually would have been some good footage it had been about four more videos if my camera had to hit all the footage I guess it was a bad SD card issue because it just captured bits and pieces and I don't know why sorry about technical difficulties I'm working on it, trying to get everything better <coughs> but I hope y'all enjoy this video what I've got here and this project was very interesting it was very fun and all this was rough cut lumber that I bought at the sawmill. And it took me about, actually it took me three days to put this thing together. So, hope y'all sit back and enjoy this and talk to y'all later. Like, subscribe, and share. I got my 11 one by sixes cut, cut and laid on the table here. And like I did on the headboard, I rip an inch and a half off one, and we're gonna put it in the center of the 11th one. But we'll get that lined up in a minute. But what I ended up doing on there's the headboard. I've got the two by four cut for the top. I haven't got it screwed on. I got to cut a two by six. But. All right. But what I ended up doing on the headboard is I went ahead and got my four by four, not, or my one by fours on here, and I was still like a inch over. Anyway, well, there's the piece. I was still an inch, inch from being 60 and a half, I ended up being 61 and a half. So what I done is I just marked over, marked me a uh, line over far enough with the jigsaw and for the leaf of the curve made me a straight board across so i just cut them off even where they worked out so that's probably what i'm gonna do on this one if i find the tape measure we'll figure out how long this one is you see what i've done with my tape all right now i found the tape Let's see how long these are see how close we are to 60 and a half we are well y'all don't want to look at me y'all want to It is setting it 60 and three quarters. So we ain't but a quarter inch off, so that'll work. So. All right, let me get y'all tripod set up and I'll show you how I put those boards, one before them. Well guys, we're gonna have to wing it because I broke the camera mount. For the moment, so that's how my day's been. I've dropped everything, but let me go. Let me measure this one more time, and then I'm gonna cut my one before. All right, guys, we got got my one before cut. Just give you, a, and they're gonna lay like this. See if you can see. They'll lay like this. I'm gonna glue those and glue these and nail these in. Wish my camera mount hadn't have broke. Y'all could watch. But I'll be right back with you, show you that when I'm done. All right, I got the first one glued and nailed. Now I've got to go let a battery charge on my nail gun. So to be continued. 
Be back with you shortly. All right, guys. We're back out here working on our farmhouse bed frame. That's where I left off yesterday. There's the headboard. It's done. I got to cut a tube of six for the very top, but I'll do that in a minute. And you got to mount the footboard to the legs. I got to cut two more two by twos, three inches here. Let me go get that done real quick. Let's find another camera mount where the camera mount broke on me. The thing is, I don't like about this camera mount, it turns over so easy. Let's see if I can find a piece of wood to hold this thing down a bit. Alright, now that I got both sides of this of the one before is nailed in on the footboard, I'm gonna come on this side, I'm gonna go back and shoot nails on this side here. That way they're nailed in both ways and they're less likely to come apart on me. See if I can do this one-handed. <clears throat> stuff when I build it so if you do it right the first time I like to make sure I don't have to go back and fix stuff after I build it the first time Now I'm going to do the other side, and I'm going to run a measurement and see if I need to trim anything down. If I don't, we'll move on to the four by fours. Be right. All right. To attach the footboard, it wants an eight inch, two by two, and a three inch spaced out. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use a Scrap piece of four by four to get my four inch gap because your two by four slides in here. So, that's the way I get the gap correct. Let me get a screw started here. Just a little slot, just in case. Now I got it started, I'll flip over. And shit. I'll flip it up like this where I can get this. Screw it in. Oh, yeah, I might want to back it down just a little bit. I don't want no issues when I'm putting my putting the frame together. Yeah. Yeah, just a tick. Well, let me grab a piece of two before to make sure. Leave just a little slop. Thank you. 
and there's that. All right, there's that side. We'll level hit it like so. Go ahead and get my screws, get this piece tightened up. happens when you get in a hurry. <laughs> Alright, there's that side. Attach. Now let's do the other side here. Repeat again. Flip this up. Hopefully, y'all can see what I'm doing here. My spacer board. Check my four by two by four. I got that a little. Yeah, he fits snug, so that's what we wanted. So I can slide that down just a hair. I'm using a uh, three inch deck screws on this on this so that's what I had. The plan said use two and a half wood screws, but screws are very expensive, and I had a whole box of three inch deck screws, which I think will work better in rough cut. 
I was using the uh, regular dimensional lumber out of this boat. Now, if I'd bought all this lumber like at Home Depot or somewhere, I'd have bought two and a half inch screws. But since I bought it from the sawmill, and it's actually true dimensional lumber. All right. All right. There is the footboard. Now I've got to cut a two by four. Let's hit this top. And go ahead and get that measured and go get that cut. I'll be right back. And that's what it's going to look like with the two by four on top. I've got a plane hit down real quick. So I'll get y'all some video of that. Little planer is probably the best 60 bucks I ever spent. <coughs> I mean, it does a good job. Eventually, I'm going to get me a big one, and all this will be easier. But y'all let me know if y'all like these woodworking projects. And guys, I have another woodworking video I'm about to start filming and start working on. I'm building a... It's going to be a step for the bed because this bed frame was actually higher than the than my other one and I'm gonna build a step it's gonna be a storage box that doubles as a step out of uh, the leftover rough cut that I have that'll slide that I, that I can slide under the bed and pull out if someone's short and you know needs to step up on the bed but that's my next little project I'm gonna be working on with the woodworking stuff i thought i'd let y'all know that, that was the upcoming project hope y'all enjoyed this video sorry i lost some footage but remember like subscribe and share it really helps the channel leave me some comments down below let me know what y'all think in the comments and talk to y'all later